Okay, guys. So this is what's happening. As you guys already see, I got the alternate of the belts losing, and it's ready to be taken off. You can see there. And I've been have the power steering belts taken off, and it's ready to uh, install this new one, the alternative one that I got from AutoZone. They happen to got me the right one. I've already tried it. It's about the same size uh, going around the power steering and the uh, uh, crankshaft pulley. Um, so, at this point, I'll need to do a few things if I were you. Um, like if you guys were doing the right things like I do, uh, when you change the belt, you're supposed to, in, you know, um, you're supposed to in inspect the, the old belt if you're going to try to use you know the old belts again but I don't think anyone would use reuse the old belt belt again because what's the point you know because you got to check it before you trying to uh, you got to check it before you want to uh, uh, buy a new belt and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, change a new belt okay so some of you might keep the old belt because you know when you when you check it you know when you check it there's several ways you can check it at first because i forgot to tell you guys at the beginning you need to check it before you're trying to buy a new belt to, to replace a new belt you can go down here and just kind of bend it like this and see if there's any crack or whatsoever like my old belts especially this alternator belt it doesn't look like it's cracking or anything. It looks like a new belt to me. It's look, it look good, okay? It looks like I've changed this belt when I first uh, finished the rebuild, but I forgot if I changed it or not. I think I didn't change any belts beside the timing belt. So all these belts was old, okay? So this is the power steering belt in the AC, and it looks old to me. It doesn't have cracks, you know, because you're going to bend it up. It don't look like it has cracked. Well, just a little bit. But it looks pretty good. Like, I don't need to change this if I don't have to. But lately, my belt been squishing, okay? Like, it's squishing from the belt to the idler pulley or the power steering. Because I, I can hear a squishing noise whenever in the morning when I start it up. And when I, you know, uh, turn the steering wheel all the way to the right or all the way to the left, it will squeak. It will make this squeak noise. So I know that's the belt. It cannot be my brakes because... You know how brakes sounds a little bit different. It sounds like, you know, but the belt sounds like, it sounds really weird, you know. It sounds like really high all the way up like that, you know. So the brake sounds is different than the belt sounds, okay. You, you can really tell it too. And you can tell when the belt's bad, when the belt making the squeak noise, is when you're making a, a, a big turn, okay, a big U-turn. And... Uh, um, there's another way you can tell, um, if the belt is bad, you know, just inspect like I did, and then, uh, check to make sure the outer little pulley, you see my outer little pulley, it's old, you see that, all this right here, is the belt residue, oh man, goodness, right here, see that, that's the belt residue, I can just take a razor and scratch them all off, and it'll come off, and it'll clean my outer little pulley, but, after this, I wouldn't be needing to use the idler, the idler pulley or the AC pulley. So I'm going to leave it alone or I'm going to take out the AC system after this. But I think about leaving it on just for now. So I don't need to worry about the idler pulley, cleaning up and all that. But I do need to clean all these pulleys. Like the power steering pulley. You see all this riches right here? Yeah, it, it was a mess. It was dirty. Like grease and oil and dirt was all around this right here inside of this groove and I just clean it off and also while you're here while I'm here I'm gonna clean the uh, these crank pulley too like the alternator crank pulley right there inside and this and this power steering crank pulley right here this is the main crank pulley guys this is actually the pulley the crank pulley that's uh, that works with the uh, the engine so yes, definitely need to clean around this groove here on the pulley before I uh, install new uh, belts on it or both of the new belts. So what I did, how I clean it is, um, you know, guys, you can take any uh, cleaner like I've used 
purple power cleaner any you know any industrial cleaner degreaser it will do it so you just spray it on either you spray it on a, a brush like this or you know actually spray it on the crank pulley groove just like that you know go go down and spray it make sure you want to wear safety goggle glass okay and mask and of course glove wear gloves when you work on things and also you just gotta you just gotta see if I'm if I'm cleaning the the pulley up here all I gotta do is just spray on the pulley make sure it's on inside the groove of the pulley spray on a, a couple of shots and then uh, let it sit for like let it soak for like a minute or two just get a brush and brush around it you know move your hand and twist roll it you know and brush around it it's pretty easy you know it's pretty, it's pretty straight uh, straightforward works okay and after that all I gotta do is just after I brush it, I just gotta use the a towel like this and go over and wipe, you know. But then if you really want to clean it off, might as well get a rag like this and have like a, a screwdriver uh, a pointy nose picking like this and have it wrap around with the the rag like this and just clean it, you know. Have your other hand roll it and then one hand roll, one hand just hold the screwdriver like this and just scrape all the dirts and the grime the, you know all those oil grease off because trust me it's going to be a lot of grease because if you haven't changed the belt for a while it'll be a lot of grease so that's how you clean it all right same thing with the bottom uh pulley here this pulley here should do the same way all right so i've already performed that works but uh, i need to clean this pulley down here so I haven't really cleaned this pulley down here yet um, and I haven't really changed the new belt so I am going to uh, go down here again and spray and clean this pulley uh, groove and then uh, after that I'm gonna change the belt the alternator belt okay so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have set my camera right here while I'm down there, uh, whenever I'm finished cleaning, then I'll go down there and install the belts. But um, before that, I want to mention to you guys: you guys can really, you know, if you don't, if you don't, if you, you know, not trying to do all this long hard work or whatever to clean up the groove, you can get the air compressor like I do. Have a gun, air compressor gun, and spray the air. You know, to clean around this uh, this dirty grime ridges, you know, that's a faster way to do it. But uh, I recommend to have this to scrape it first so all the dirt, you know, comes out first. And then, of course, it's going to be a lot of dirt going ar around here. You need you need your air gun to blow all this dirt away from the engine bay and all that, too. So, yes, uh, with the air compressor, it'd be a plus, you know, it'd be a faster job and a cleaner job, you know. And another thing I want to mention is the belt conditioner okay now you want to apply this to the belt you know like even when you just uh, renew a new belt or when you check in the belt you should spray some of this every time you do an oil change or 3,000 miles this thing will make the belts stick onto uh, stick onto the uh, the ridges of this pulley it'll be sticking so it won't slide you know it, it works especially it works really good especially with the uh, outer little pulley yes so you spray all of the, the top of the belt and the bottom of the belt I'll show you where you're gonna uh, spray it you're gonna spray it on top of the belts and on the back of the belts too if you can okay so it's kind of like you use this you spray it whenever your engine is running with the belts and all you got to do is just spray it right here while the belt's running. Spray it inside here and spray it outside here. That's that's pretty easy, you know. Straightforward jobs. So, let me set up my camera and uh, and uh, set it like somewhere right here. So you guys can see when I work on uh, changing the belt. And I'm going to be down there, okay. So, stick around guys.